it's almost time to start wrapping Christmas presents. So let's get making some bows. This is perfect ribbon because it has presents right on there. This is a one and a half inch ribbon. Now I'm gonna start out by making a five inch tail. So I put it through my bow maker. You can also use a chip clip if you'd like to kind of hold your loops. That measures out to five, right? So I'm gonna push that down in here. I'm gonna take the left hand side, pinch and twist so that the back side of the ribbon is facing up. And I wanna make three inch loops. So I'm gonna pull this through the bow maker until there's a nice pretty three inch loop. Then I'm gonna press down on there and pinch and twist. So I see the back side of the ribbon on the right side now. I'm gonna put it in here as a three inch loop. All of our loops are going to be the same size. That's what gives us that nice rounded shape. So you can see I've got the pinch and twist down here on the left. I'm gonna make six three inch loops on either side. So two, two, pinch and twist. Here's my third loop on the left, third loop on the right. What's nice about these bows is that because they're wired ribbon, they hold up nicely year after year. So you can actually reuse these in your family. Uh, your recipient can decide to put these on a wreath or another item that they may have in their home. These are nice to reuse. It's better than reusing those ribbons that you tape down that end up looking squished. You know, the ones that we save year after year because I'm too cheap to throw out. There we go. This is loop five. Now it doesn't matter really exactly what size your loops are as long as that they are the same on the, on the right and the left sides. You want consistency. Okay, pinch and twist. Here is loop number six. Pinch and twist. And then second loop number six. And you remember we started with five inch tails. So let's measure this one all the way out to five inches. And we're gonna cut it. Now we're gonna do what's called a dovetail. I'm going to pinch these two wired edges together. So basically you make like it's folded in half and you cut from the inside angles toward the out. Snip and look, a very pretty V shape. It prevents your ribbon from fraying and it looks nice and polished. So let's do one on this side too. Once you've got your bow all fluffed, we might need to trim that again. Now I have here a pipe cleaner. This doesn't scratch anything, so this is ideal to use. You can also use floral wire if you want um, or a zip tie. I'm gonna pull the whole thing up, keep it together. I'm gonna wrap this pipe cleaner around the back. Then I'm gonna twist it. And then I'm gonna kinda just turn the bow a couple times, right? Don't move your hand, move, move the bow. All right. Having a nice tight fit is what makes your loops pop up. You see that? All right, now we're gonna try to pull these tails down, okay? And because this one came down that way, on the opposite side, we're gonna go up. So one loop up, one loop down, one in the middle, one loop up, one loop down, one in the middle. Now this is the exact opposite. That one was up first, so now we're gonna go down first. Down, up, middle, down, up, middle. And do not be afraid to wiggle your loops so they are independent of each other. You can see how they're all, nothing's attached, it's all independent. Now we're gonna hold onto this and do our final fluff, okay? Here's the, here's the bottom of the ribbon. Let's do a little fluff in here, right? Just stick your fingers in the loops and open up your fingers. And that is how you get your nice fluffy loops. Okay, here we go. And you can see this one's a little bit longer than that other tail. So I'm gonna take a little bit off of that. Nothing wrong with giving it a little minor haircut when we're done. And now to attach it to your item, you would just take these and you would tape the pipe cleaner down directly onto your item and then just snip off whatever is left. Or you can fold it underneath if you want to keep it where they can reuse it. You can just fold it like that and then tape it like that onto the gift. And then look, they can use it on a wreath or something else. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun wrapping all of your presents and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.